If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe and the like for me. If you want me to check out your latest video, then please leave a comment below. So, a lot of people are upset about notifications. YouTube is looking into the problem and they found three problems. This video will tell you what they are, plus seven ways to fix the problems. If you are having problems receiving notifications, or you are having problems with your subscribers receiving your... The first problem with notifications is a lot of people are scheduling their videos to go public on the hour. When too many people do this, it's too much data for the service to process, causing server crashes and no notifications to go out. So don't go public on the hour. Set it for a few minutes before. Then if a server does crash, your notifications will have already gone out. You only get one chance of notifications per video, so you can set it private then public again to get a second go. The second reason was people had the wrong settings on their devices or on their YouTube channel itself. So to check your YouTube channel, if you're using your phone, click on your icon. Then click on settings and then click on notifications. And if it's blue, that on. If you are using your computer, you can do the same, you click on settings, then on notifications, and then you can check the boxes. If they're ticked, you've got them on, and then you have the option to decide if you want push notifications which should be sent to your device or an email notification you can have both or none I like to receive my notifications on my phone so I have push notifications on you need to check whatever device you're using to see if the notifications are on but while you're there check your location is correct if you have the wrong location there you will not get monetized you also need to check the settings on the actual device you are trying to get notifications on to see if they're turned off problem three was people are misunderstanding the bell you two got a focus group together and they believe they have changed it to make it easier for people to understand so you have three options, the bell, personalised or no notifications. If you have the bell on, fully grey with two lines above it, it means you will receive all notifications when that person uploads. But only if your settings are correct on YouTube and on your device. The second one, personalised, they change this to an outline of a bell. This means YouTube will send you a notification based on your previous history, how long you've watched for, if you liked, if you commented, how many videos you've watched on that person, when you're active online. You will also receive videos from people you are subscribed to on your suggested feed, if you have watched their videos. Three, none. That's an outline of a bell and it's got a line going through it, so if you've clicked on that, you will not receive any notifications. If you are a YouTuber and you want to get the maximum amount of views, you need the maximum amount of notifications going out. So when you set your video to public and it sends out notifications to everyone who has their bell on, then it analyses the data for everybody who has personalised based on their history, the time of day it is when they are active on YouTube. So it is very important the time of day you set your video public. If you set it public when everybody's asleep, no one responds to the notification. YouTube then believes nobody likes the video. No more notifications are sent out. You upload at a time when most of your subscribers are active on YouTube. They see the notifications, respond and watch the video. The more people that respond, the more YouTube sends out more notifications and the more it sends you out in 
subscribers and non-subscribers suggestion feeds. I haven't posted for a month, but all those notifications went out due to traffic coming through Twitter. People on Twitter watched my video, which caused YouTube to send them out in suggestions and notifications, and they're the ones that actually responded. So a lot more got sent out, just they're the ones that people actually saw, came and watched. YouTube have added a feature, it's a um, subscriber bell notification in your analytics. It tells you how many people who have their notifications turned on at this time. It's based on how many people can receive them due to the devices they are on, the settings they have enabled on their devices. It also tells you what's typical, so you know how well you're doing and roughly how many notifications will be sent out. On my last video about notifications, one of my subscribers told me that they wasn't receiving any notifications for a channel they really liked. The bell was on and all the settings were correct. And they had watched a lot of the person's videos. So they unsubscribed and then resubscribed, hit the bell and the notification started again. Another subscriber told me they were not receiving any notifications, no notifications were going out and they were having trouble uploading their videos to YouTube. I suggested that she deleted all her cookies on her web browser. When she did this, she started receiving notifications, her notifications were going out and she was able to upload faster on YouTube. If you haven't deleted your cookies for a while you really should do that anyway because some of those are out of date and they will be incompatible with stuff you're using so it will be causing problems you just might not know it. So you click on the three dots, click on settings, scroll down the bottom, click on advanced, clear browser data and then clear data. Last but not least, a lot of people have their app or device updates switched off. I do, I like to update my phone when I'm not using it, but this causes people to forget. I update my last week and I hardly have 21 new updates to fix bugs in the software. For app updates, you go to the app store, click on app updates and update apps. For phone updates, you go to settings, then general, then to software update, download and install. You should check every device you're using for updates, especially if you're using an older computer. Some of the programming is no longer compatible, so it causes problems with other software on your computer. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment below or contact me on Twitter. My Twitter is in the description. If you just click on follow me, you can send me a private message. Aaron Storm is having a competition, so if you want to check that out, there is a link to his video in my description below and probably above right now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.